Hello and welcome to the show. The Austin 7 is here in Forza Horizon 4, which is quite an interesting and unusual inclusion. Thing is, this vehicle is, shall we say, rather good at being a jetty car. This means that if we go around the corner and steer too much, it is going to fall over. It's one of the most vicious jetty cars I've ever built. It still mostly drives normally, aside from through heavy cornering, it falls over. Now, if you've seen our jetty car videos before, there's going to be a lot of crashes in this one. It has to be done in the rain because of force of physics. Cars don't fall over in the drive very easily, not through this manner. It's essentially we're going to be causing a grip roll. Now, the Austin 7, I mean, it's quick. This is an A-Class, actually top of A-Class. It has the motorbike engine in it. It has 250 horsepower in a car that weighs nothing. So it does accelerate like mad, and then we have a panic because we've got to a corner and one's fallen over on the outside. I think more have probably fallen over behind, just not seen it. Um, Hega leads the way. I've gone. It's just, it goes to its side and then it is snaps. It is so violent and it won't. So the Forza changed the way they do their resets. It now takes longer for a car to reset, uh, which is fine. It's sometimes, oh, <laughs> someone's had a ghost mode just sliding along on the door, uh, yeah, which is fine. It means you have more chance to roll back onto your wheels, but these very rarely come back onto their wheels. Ewan's got over. Oh, Ewan has landed on his wheels. How have I fallen over there? How has that happened? How and why did that happen? You has fallen over further down the road again. Longbow has the lead of the road. We're definitely going to have to try and be a little bit more careful with this, I think. Uh, I'm normally not too bad with these jelly cars, but um, we've fallen over twice in the first lap. Most people have fallen over at least once, somewhere along the way. Uh, we're going to have to really just calm it down. You have to really be careful. Basically, it's minimal amount of steering. Longbow's stuck on their side. There goes Longbow's lead. Um, but he's got quite long gears, which is fine for them in terms of drivability. Uh, it's just, yeah, you've got to be so patient with the steering uh, with this. I really don't want to do anything stupid with the car. Uh, now, theoretically, whether it would actually work or not, I don't know. Theoretically, you might have a slightly easier time driving these on a wheel than with a controller, because this really is about, I always want to do the minimal amount of steering input I can get away with. Heavy cornering, if I hold the stick full to one direction, it's going to fall over. That's just how the car is. And we've made up some time through that section. So last time we got caught out by a bump, I think, down here. Uh, so we're just going to kind of lift and coast almost downhill. Uh, oh, God. It's really just little steering inputs. If the front wheel comes up, that's fine. Don't mind the front wheel wiggling in the air a little bit. It's just what normally comes after the front wheel is wiggling around in the air. That's normally the bad part. Impeg has fallen over out of third. Still falling over. Still falling over in front of me. Chris has also fallen over out of second place. Um, would presume at least that's what's happened there. We're up to second now, having to dodge Impeg. But the worst thing is when there's a car falling over in front of you, you have to dodge it. But dodging a car involves you having to do rapid steering movements that tends to... Whoa! Chris is never going to survive that! <laughs> <laughs> knew that was coming. You could just see the behaviour of the vehicle. I could see it was going to roll. Um, I'm glad it didn't take me with it. That's actually a concern with this stuff. So, can we catch Gliska by the end of this? I mean, we're going to have to kind of be brave. Nope. I wasn't even being that brave on there. I just put my foot down. I think I might know why it struggles so much with saving the car. Maybe because the tyres on this are so skinny. I think when you counter-steer to try and catch the thing from going over, there's just no grip. There's just nothing there to counter it, almost. That might explain some of it. I don't know for sure why this car is worse than others. I mean, also, I mean, it's narrow. It's very top-heavy. That's all go... Oh, well, I say very top-heavy, probably not. But it's, the shape doesn't help. It is narrow and quite tall. Put those two together and... Yeah, not great. Look at the wheelie we got coming out of that corner. That was fantastic. Well, I said, it was impressive, really. We need Gliska to have a really bad... I mean, all Gliska has to do now is just don't fall over. Gliska can go very slowly around a lap, and it doesn't really matter too much, because we've all, we've all had too many accidents here to be of any sort of competitive uh, fight. Now, Liam has fallen out of third place, or fallen out of that battle with Impega. Can we... Oh... Get our car around here, we can. Now, got to be careful. I don't know how that other time I got down here flat out and had no problems. 
I don't know how I manage that. <laughs> like the first lap, oh, everyone had problems. Please bounce off the wall nicely. Land on your wheels, land on your wheels, you little bugger. No, we're going to lose the podium spot again. In fact, we're going to dump at this right as well. Uh, God damn it. It's only going to be at most four cars finishing, provided I have a very good final lap. This has been quite the high rate of attrition. Oh, I actually caught a roll. I caught a roll and then it just immediately went again. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Back on wheels, please. It is almost worse than some of the cars we have because it just... It, it's, well, it's been such a tall car, like big flat sides. It really does just get stuck. Okay, I guess it's just going to be a patience, does it, for this final lap. We had a podium. We threw it away like a bit of an idiot, uh, unfortunately. Let's just, let's say cruise around the final lap. We're going to almost regardless of what happens. Why did it, why does it sometimes, sometimes it grips up, but that, that time there it just fell over. It's better to just grip up and launch out of the corner, but it didn't. Uh, there's a gear, there's a launch. We will get going. <laughs> Thank you for the sound effect. That is what we needed. Uh, through there. Oh, no, there's been contact, and now we really have, where well, we really are in trouble. It's all gone horrifically wrong for me on this final lap. Yeah. Oh, Chris has also suffered, I think, a fall in that as well, or waited, I don't know. Very difficult to tell. 17 seconds to try and find a way up into fifth place now. Longboy's going to get that fourth. Uh, I might just have to say, well, no, don't do anything stupid. Chris has fallen over, so we'll just lift and coast our way past. It's going to be a dump. Only three cars are going to finish anyway. Oh, and Pega caught up at the end, which I su suspect means Gliska fell over somewhere on that last lap. That was scruffy, to say the least. And Pega gets an absolutely monstrous lap. <laughs> Probably the only lap that was clean. I fell over a lot. We're off to a good start. I wasn't wrong when I said this is the most vicious jelly car of all time ever. So, up next, we are off to the Bamba Coast Circuit. A little bit of a different track here. Um, scary. Ooh, we start on pole. Bad times. Scary high speed corners. Uh, that's that's what we're going to look out for, or higher speed corners, shall we say, around here. Got to try and stop making silly errors. It's a lot easier said than done. That is for sure. Um, yeah, just got to be patient. Very little steering movements. Careful with the throttle. Maybe the game might load. The game doesn't want to load. It knows. It knows the pain that we are about to inflict on its poor physics engine. None of this was supposed to happen. Uh, right. Here we go. And launch the vehicle down towards the first corner. I'm not going to go and touch the curb. I feel like touching the curb is going to be a death sentence. The grass. Now, there are a couple of ways to try and mitigate the rolling that we have tried in the past. Uh, first of all is the handbrake method, whereby you grab the handbrake as you go into a corner. Now, that apparently doesn't work with this car, it still falls over. Not going to try that one, especially not now that we've actually started filming. And driving, dipping a wheel onto the grass, so the reason why this might work, it'd have to be the outside wheels ideally, but basically you put a wheel on the grass and the hope would be that your car just loses grip. There's less grip out there, so by running the wheel across the grass, oh, you might actually be able to prevent it from falling over. That is the hope, maybe. Uh, it's still dangerous, especially if you've got little bumps, like curbing, that could launch the car onto its side. Because, I mean, this vehicle here is keen to fall over at the best of times. I don't need anything that's going to assist it. We have had a rather good first lap, shall we say. Oh, that's really not fun there. Someone is going to have a tremendous accident down there. It wasn't me. It wasn't anyone behind us. Let's get our vehicle sorted out. Uh through these first corners. This isn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a lot nastier a track or a lot bigger problem for these cars, but it isn't too bad. We've got Impega in second. Uh, we've got Chris in third. I mean, some vehicles are still falling over. Someone's falling over about sixth or something, just judging by the map. I'm going to keep my wheels on the grass. Nope. Okay, it doesn't stop it from falling over, but it gives you a little bit more time. Gives you a little bit more time to catch it. Now we're going to go side by side with Impega down here. Into the braking zone. We head. Big dive under brakes for me. We will take back the lead of the race. 
I mean, it's difficult enough driving this car as it is, let alone when you start. I mean, this is the oh no! We hit him, Pega. But we have fallen, and everyone else has fallen on this lap as well, by the looks of it. Game, come on, reset us. Uh, Gliska's up to second now. Chris has gone at some point. Ah, oh, damn it. I, just, I wasn't even prepared for that roll, and that is what happened with this. I just wasn't thinking that was ever going to cause it to roll. Um, oh, Chris is having a huge... I knew someone was going to have a huge accident. Chris is going to gather that one back up again in a manner of speaking. Oh no, it's sunk through the floor. Uh, the wheels do sometimes go through the floor, and I've missed the checkpoint. Um, yeah, I'm in ghost mode, so it's fine. I can do this. Uh, <laughs> that's an unfortunate place to have a roll. Yeah, the wheels do fall through the floor a little bit through their rolling and weird. It's a bit like the Morris Traveler did. I don't know if it still does. I presume it does. Uh, oh, no, we're going out in the field. That's fine. I mean, I'd rather do that than have it roll. We lose a small bit of time, but it's much better than a falling over. Uh, Danger Man is also trying to stay on the grass tactic. It works so well for me. <laughs> it doesn't work. You would fall over behind us as well. Oh, can I finish a race? As I said, I'm normally not too bad with jelly cars. It's these ones. Oh, oh, good God, that was not what I needed. That's a terrifying experience under brakes there. Just the whole thing bucked and shook around. There's an ollie in the trees. I wonder if... Oh, and there's a Chris falling over as well. Oh, we're up to fourth. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Longbow's up to second now. Uh, Gliska, I presume, would have had a fall somewhere around the circuit. That is what happens. There is Gliska stuck on their side at turn one. We're just going to coast through turn one. Uh, we're 16 seconds down on Longbow. I feel like we're not going to make any more places... Oh, the crest. Like, it was weird. The first lap, this really didn't feel too bad. And then, just I guess as the speed, we tried to pick up a little bit more speed. It's just got worse and worse. It went wrong for me, this corner, when I got out on two wheels and had to start fighting in Pega. That was when I screwed things up, basically. We started just pushing that little bit too hard. Is that Longbow ahead of us? No, I don't think so. Um, it would be helpful if it was. No, it's not. It's obviously a lap-down car. Oh, bam. To a nice slow speed we go. Uh, fastest lap might be obtainable. I mean, I'm looking at the gap between me and Impega. It's staying about 26 seconds. Change a little bit in Impega's favour. Um, right, sort of tenth and tenth the checkpoint through that section. It was. Hopefully, we can reel it back in somewhere. Oh, I don't want to be flat out over here, but it's really scary. That is horrific. Uh, also, I mean, Impega is likely to be taking a little bit easier. Longmo has fallen over. Uh, Leather Cat did a wonderful flip through turn one. No, oh, no, we've fallen over. Hello. Can you give me a nudge? Back onto my wheels at all. Oh, no, no. <laughs> she fell over as well, so we <laughs> all fell over. In fact, the fact that we caught up to just Impega might have fallen somewhere as well. So everybody fell over on this final lap. God damn it, I was in a good position. And then it's all got away. You lose about 10 seconds in a roll, it seems to be the way it goes in this. Oh race in this game at the moment. Uh, bugger. Carefully does it around here. Yeah. Okay, we should be able to straighten the car up now. Unleash all 250 horsepower. We at least should finish and it's going to hopefully be a podium as long as we don't do anything dumb in this final section. I mean, it's easy to roll. It's easy to roll in a straight line almost with these cars, so anywhere is a challenge. There we go, we're out of the final corner. Ollie is too far back, I think, to do very much. I'm just being careful with the throttle. Yeah. Ah. Better? I mean, it's, a, it's an improvement. The marks improvement over the first race. I think lap time-wise, we're probably not too far off. But a couple of... Uh, was always silly errors. Had a little section of the race that it all went wrong. Yeah. Okay, we're not quite as quick as in Pega, but we were second fastest. Similar lap time to Longbow. Similar lap time to Ollie. Whew. Okay. Four cars finished. <laughs> These are really difficult to drive. We head next to one of the nastiest circuits that we can do this around. It's the Festival Sprint Circuit or something along those lines. I can't actually remember which Festival Circuit. There we go. Ooh, we're further down in the pack. Turn one is always fun. It's just a very long banked corner. <laughs> These cars are not going to enjoy that. Uh, well, I mean, I'm starting much 
further down the pack, so we might enjoy watching everyone fall over through that first corner. Uh, I say I'm going to try and be more careful this time and just not not make mistakes. That is very much easier said than done. I'm going to try and not make mistakes. I have to be very, very patient with the steering. We'll see what we can do. See if we can adapt, if we can be clever with this. I don't know if I can, but we'll give it a try. I say that, we're going to fall over immediately. Okay, lift and coast all the way into... I guess technically this is turn two, so we're going to have a kink on the straight. Anyone going to fall over on this opening lap? Yep, someone's gone. Is that Impega or was that... Yeah, I'm not sure who that was. Actually, well, Impega's down at the back, so it must be, because Impega did start third. Speed Beast leads the way. Uh, we're in the middle of the pack at the moment. I mean, it's going to thin out. We're not going to stay together bunched up with this kind of racing. Glisk has snapped and gone. We were around the outside of that. I was a little worried it was going to ping back onto its wheels and end up taking me with it, but uh, thankfully not the case. Uh, through the tunnel, yeah, this final corner is going to be sketchy. Speed Beast is wobbling, wobbling, wobbling and fallen. Danger Man now leads. A little bit of two-word antics going on. I'm just having a lift through there. Chris had a huge lift and Ollie didn't by the looks of it, and they managed to bump into one another, but nobody fell over. So that's something. Oh, there is some banging of doors between the lead pair. Can we get a good acceleration out of here? We do. Nowhere to really go with it, and I'm just happy to sit behind, wait for a mistake. Danger Man has fallen and is now out of this. Uh, puts Liam up into fourth. Place behind us. Ollie has quarter roll, I think, a little laggy, but uh, lost out, lost the position to me. Okay. We're up into second. It's just been methodical working our way forward. Chris has fallen. Ollie's fallen. I think Liam might have fallen as well back there. <laughs> okay, now just don't do anything stupid. This is all we've got to do. Don't roll the car. Liam is closest to us. We've not got a roll's worth of distance between me and Liam. So let's just not do anything dumb. And we can hopefully make... No, not even gonna, not even going to tempt the fours of gods. Not going to tempt fate here. Ellen's not that far back, so we've got to be a little careful. But you've got to be a little careful in terms of don't want to make a mistake. But I also can't go too slowly. You know, I want to be going relatively easy because I don't want to be making any unforced errors. That was a big two at moment. Oh, Liam has fallen over. It's now Danger Man in second. That's good news for me. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to go too too slowly but we are not going to push it to the absolute limit. There's no reason to when you have this bigger elite, especially with vehicles like this. I'm going to start catching to lap some vehicles in a minute. It's Ewan that is, uh, I presume, fallen over a good few times in the tunnel there. Uh, we are coming up towards... Oh, okay, I don't know where Blakey is. We're coming up towards Speed Beast who led the opening lap and has had some more trouble. I wonder if anyone is trying... Oh, this is the sort of circuit that, that... Oh! Ping off the wall. Come on, on your wheels, on your wheels. No, it's gone. That's it. I was about to say, this is the sort of circuit that maybe the whole handbrake and drift technique could work, but it is very, very risky to suddenly start trying it, and these cars don't seem to respond well to it. Uh, Danger Man is not going for that method. We've run quite quick into turn one. Danger Man is up on the two wheels there. Can we find a way back past? Will it be a case of just bide time and wait, wait for a mistake? When I mean, we are hoping for a mistake, if I have to try an overtake on... Well, if I have to try an actual overtake, where would we do it? We might actually be able to just do it here. We're going to get past. Just braver with the quarter speed. I'll take it. We'll take whatever we can get with this. It's just easy. You've really got to be so patient with these cars. It's a completely different kind of driving. Oh, okay have a big lift. Danger Man is playing a lot more risky on two wheels than I am. Uh, I'm going to cover the inside. If you want to go past, I'm going to make you go around the outside of me, because I can. That's the advantage of the leader. No! We've been put over! I <laughs> know, oh, not intentional. Not at all intentional. I think Danger Man may have missed the checkpoint. Oh, might I miss the checkpoint? Oh, went back to wait for me. Liam has fallen over, having just been gifted the lead. It's now between me and Danger Man here. I mean, it was completely unintentional. These things move around so much that you don't really have a lot of control, especially if you've got a panic and your movements are to stop a roll of your own. As Speedbeast stuck on their side and fallen over. And this is it. This is the final lap, so 
Danger Man is bound to try something at the final corner. I would expect Danger Man will try and go quicker than me through this final corner, which is either going to work or he's going to end up in a roll. And it was a roll, yeah. you got to do it. And that's, that's what I would do in that position. Uh, in the end, we came out with a victory. Uh, we do get fastest lap of the race as well. Uh, Danger Man ended up down in fourth in all of that. Chris also in the 43s, not bad lap time. And Pega, we saw fall over at the start. Well, that was madness. More than four cars might finish this one as well, which is something. For our final race, we have come to the Ambleside Village Circuit. Where I'm going to try and not fall over. I mean, ooh, we start from pole. I've generally done better when I started further back in the fields, to be honest. I start on pole, I tend to throw it away, but start me in eighth or something. We do. We're going to try and not do anything stupid with the car. It's going to be smooth steering as possible and patience. Really, that's going to be the trick with this one. We'll see how it goes, <laughs> basically. Fingers crossed we can pull out another victory. Fingers crossed we can have a good race as well. It always, always helps. All right, we shall launch off towards weird like a bunny hop as it sets off. I mean, I do have to be a little bit of the uh, experimental car here uh, because, well, I'm going to be hitting all of these corners first, so we're going to find out what we can and can't get away with on this opening lap. Oh, God. Now, the thing with this track is it is a lot slower than some of the other tracks we've driven around, but, I mean, it's almost constant cornering, so you're going to have to be patient, and I'm not. I'm a plank. I'm a plank who got very lucky there, who very nearly rolled recovering it, but have got very, very lucky. Oh, whoever that is has pinged back onto their wheels quite nicely. Uh, not sure whose it was. Didn't see a nameplate. There goes, I think that's Danger Man's car. Uh, out of a top three, maybe it might have been third. Uh, we've got a vehicle, have a look up the inside, that Liam is going for a pass. A pass? Oh, it's almost a legit pass. It didn't involve someone falling over. Uh, I'm going to try and slow you down for these final couple of corners. So yeah, these are very, very slow corners and it's tempting to try and be, you see Gliska being greedy on the throttle, the car doing a huge wheelie. It's fine if it only wiggles one wheel. It's when it's any more than that and Gliska has gone into the third corner? I don't even know the corner numbers, but has had a crash, basically. Do we have a dive on Longbow? It's from a long way back. I think Longbow the last second realised we were alongside. We do get a pass. That is a legit pass for position. It did not involve any falling over unless Longbow fell over on the exit, which I don't think so. Hey, we managed a another legit pass. Always good. Uh, can we chase down Ollie and Impega? That is the question. Will they make any, any mistakes? I mean, if we hadn't made a stupid mistake on lap one would have been ideal for us oh i think that's ollie has fallen over that's the pink vehicle down okay now we're going to try and chase down in pega that's always difficult oh careful almost sunk through the floor and pega's got the front wheel wiggling in the air and pega's gone big style across the start finish line <laughs> bounced off the wall <laughs> That is the danger where you just bury the bury the throttle when it's got weird in the air. It, it can just hook up and go and you can make some good lap time that way. But if it starts wiggling, especially if there are bumps in the road, you can be in all sorts of problems. And that is a good example. I just lap speed beast and I don't quite know where Longbow is. So this is just going to be a carefully does it session for me now, I think. Yeah, we can't see Longbow. Get off the curb, you plank. <laughs> so if there's anything that looks even remotely questionable, just lift off the throttle and try and not do anything stupid with the steering. Oh, I hear a wool allure. Was that a Blakey falling over? It might have been a Blakey falling over. <laughs> we went past. So busy watching my own vehicles, just watching. Oh, don't hit that. You brush that curb. You breathe on that curb. And the vehicle's had enough. That, I hate that crest. It's horrible. It's not quite as bad as that Bamber Coast bump towards the start-finish line. I mean, it would be, but we're just going so much slower around this track. Uh, there we go. Unleash the power up towards the hairpin. I have no doubt this car in, like, I don't know, whoa, in like B-Class or something. It's probably an absolute monster. You have it all-wheel drive. You can probably make it stupid fast because um, it's small and light, and that's generally what makes stuff fast in Horizon. Uh, however, like this, it is not fast. Well, it is in between the death pretty much uh, yeah that's that's about the only way to sum it up and Pega's back to second and I think that's the dot that's behind me on the map after my roll and it was a yeah it is 
it was a quicker roll than some of them that we've had, being that it landed on the wheels and we could carry it. We really can't hit the curbs with this car. Really not a good idea. Oh, we've got all sorts of twitchy trying to get on the power. And Pegasus caught us a little bit. It's not been a great lap for me. So, <laughs> somebody had a big crash at turn one. We can we can see the witness marks on that one. Oh, come on, car, get settled. There's Danger Man. I mean, we were battling Danger Man for the win in that last race. This is how, not I say random, but yeah, this is the the challenges of Jelly Car Racing. If it goes wrong, it does really go wrong. There's an upside down Chris. Oh, <laughs> never cap buried it in the wall. Come on, no curbs are bad. We're lapping up to seventh at the moment. And they are admittedly quite short laps around here. And I'm hoping Impega gets caught in some of the traffic as well. That would that would ease some of the pressure on me here. Uh, I don't know what dot is in Pegas anymore, so we're just going to try and not fall over for this final lap. We've got clean track ahead of us. No more traffic. Don't do anything dumb now as we drive through this first section like that. Okay, that was dumb. <laughs> That was really dumb. I, I'm very lucky. I'm very, very lucky indeed. That could have and possibly should have been me upside down in the wall. We just had enough time to gather it back up and I don't quite know how we got away with it. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the curbs. Don't... I mean, I'm... <laughs> it's like the natural line you want to take through these corners is often jumping the curbs and right alongside them and it's kind of difficult almost to retrain your brain to avoid it. Also, sometimes trying to avoid them if your car's heading there can actually lead to a more janky steering movement than just hit them, but yeah, we've got around the worst of this lap. We've just got a couple more corners to go. Nothing stupid for me here. Uh, we're just going to coast it through, really. I don't need to do anything more than that. We'll just coast it through and off towards the finish line. And we will! <laughs> That's a good finishing shot right there for the Austin. We will take victory. And Pega does beat our fastest lap. Only just very, very close uh, between both of us there. Longbow is uh, back in, in third. Presumably not had a particularly clean lap, judging by that one. Uh, Kliska a bit faster in fourth. Whew. We kind of got there. We kind of we kind of got there. Um, started off a bit scruffy from me. We, we improved. Uh, oh, only two of us finished. A personal best on managing to dump as much of the field as possible. I've just noticed my finishing time was almost all fives as well. Oh, that car is wonderfully wacky. That is one of the most vicious and most difficult jelly cars I've ever driven. I've ever built in a Forza game. It's terrifying. We have so little time to try and do anything if it starts going wrong. But uh, yeah, it certainly makes for an interesting, an interesting challenge. We had some good racing, had some wacky, weird experiences as well, which is always good for a video. But... Uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Uh, if you have, if you want to have a go with the car, uh, the tune can be found on my Sharefront. Um, you can download it, have a go. It's, yeah, ridiculous. Shall be it for me, though. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.